Well, police have made an arrest in the shooting death of 22-year-old Taja Williams. She was killed the day after Christmas. Brandon Rook spoke with those who knew her best. Brandon joins us live in the newsroom with the latest. Brandon. Yes, George and Shannon Williams, this former boss, says he's still devastated by her death and describes her as a beautiful spirit. It definitely saddened my heart. Um, that's such a tragic thing, what happened to someone that had so much uh, talent, and uh, she, she has such a beautiful spirit. Jose Lamont Bates tells me things just don't seem right, knowing that his stylist, Taja Williams, is no longer here. I couldn't believe it. I, I couldn't believe it. I, I was praying that it was a mistake of some sort. Milwaukee police tell us Williams was shot multiple times and later died at the hospital. Balloons marked the area near the 3800 block of North 41st Street where she was shot. Her family tells me they don't know why she was in that area. She was willing to work well with people and uh, everyone loved her. And she particularly worked well with children and uh, elderly. Williams was also a student at Mount Mary University. Family members say she was studying biology and was recently looking into moving to Washington, D.C. to further her education. Everyone just hopes someone will be held accountable. I just pray that justice is, is served. Milwaukee police say the investigation leading up to the shooting is ongoing. The man who was arrested has not been formally charged yet. George. Thank you, Brandon.